Hello there. Look what I have for you. The gods favor us both. You have made an excellent choice. I am certain you will find it useful. You have made an excellent choice. The gods favor us. You have made an excellent choice. The gods favor us both. You have made an excellent choice, my friend. The gods favor us both. I am certain you will find. You have made an excellent choice, my friend. I am certain you will find it useful. You have made an excellent. The gods favor us both. I am certain you will find it. You have made an excellent choice, my friend. I am certain you will find it useful. You have made an excellent choice, my friend. I am certain you will find it. You have made an excellent choice, my friend. The gods favor us both. I am certain you will find it useful. I'm always ready to trade. Father, father, come quick! It's the Ishiki! What do you want? We don't have time for Unuratu's rebellion right now. Are you Kabil? Uchu sent me for the king's... The king's horn? The call to the future? <laughs> Look at the good that future's done for my present. Just go! The cult found out my dad was making the horn. They poisoned our crops as punishment. Mom got sick. My brother Kuali went to the market to get herbs, but... He hasn't returned. That's terrible. Let me see if I can find your brother and get the herbs you need. Thank you. Did you hear about Kuali? No. What happened? Abra was poisoned by Kipokan's men. Kuali took it upon himself at neutral. Excuse me. Ah, Ishiki. How can I help you? I'm looking for Kuali, the son of Kabil. Oh, that poor boy. Chimali, one of Kukulkan's thugs, is holding him in a cell up at the market, waiting for the Ahau to come to punish him. Thank you. Be well, Ishiki. Thieving bastard. A herb thief. He must be very dangerous. Today it's theft, and tomorrow it's murder. That's quite a leap, don't you think? You really want to know what I think? I think we should round up all these little rats and drown them. Every one of them, especially Yumil. His father may be a serpent guard, but he is not. Hello there. The Ishiki. Wonderful. More attention we don't need. What do you want? 
I'm trying to help Kuali. The thief. You're too late. He's been sentenced to death for stealing. Seems harsh for petty theft. You can judge when he steals from you, outsider. Well, thank you for the information. Whatever. Come on, get it! Oh, no. Try again, we almost had it. Your father's going to so be mad. Hello there. Hey, you're Ishiki, from the outside, right? Yes, it's nice to meet you. Well, me. I'm Yamiri. <laughs> what sort of game are you boys playing? It's not a game. My father is a serpent guard, a priest. I took his ceremonial knife to show my friends, and Shimali the guard saw. Shimali knows what father would do if he found out I took the knife, so he threw it up there. Now it's stuck. Oh, let me see what I can do. Wow, really? Thank you. Thank you, Ishiki. You're welcome. Hey, wait a minute. The grown-ups around here always chase us away. But you helped. What do you want? Shh, I'll do the talking. So what do you want, Ishiki? I mean, is there something we can do to pay you back? I'm trying to help Kuali. You're too late. He's been sentenced to death. We can't do anything. And Chimali the guard hates you. Would Chimali chase you if you provoked him? Why? Because if he's not at his post, I can get to Kuali. Yeah, I like it. Oh, you can tell Kuali to meet us at the cave. He'll know where it is. It'll be safe for him there. I will. Let's go. Asto, Remy, with me. Samin, watch our backs. Then run to the cave. Stand back, Ishiki. We'll give you an opening. Shimali, you coward! You'll end your life as a slave! Come taste my blade! <laughs> Yeah, and these llama patties, too. Run, run! Ah. Please. They were just herbs. I beg you, I'll work it off. Your brother told me of your troubles. Wait, who are you? Someone who wants to help. I never wanted any of these to happen. I was only trying to help my mother get well. Where are the herbs? Give them to me. I will heal your mother. Go, your friends are waiting for you at the cave. Thank you. Here are the herbs. I'll run as fast as I can. Do you know what's missing in this city? Love. It used to drift on the air like the scent of a biscuit. I thought I told you to go. Kuali is safe and I have the herbs your wife needs. Really? And did you come to cure her, or to barter for the king's horn? Here, this will help you. Bless you, Ishiki. Kabil, quit being an ass. Give her the horn. <sighs> Here, with respect to the future king, thank you for all you've done. Thank you.
Last to leave and first to return. Jonah's stories of you are true. The King's Horn, as requested. Did Kabil give you any trouble? You were right about his wife. She definitely had a way with his heart. Thank you for this, Lara. Of course. Uchu, what did you mean, last to leave and first to return? The men I have retrieving the other two items, they both left three days ago. Neither has returned. Do you think something's happened to them? It's Quinty that concerns me the most. He's young, likes to take risks. Jumps into the water before checking to see how deep it is. I know the type. Jonah. Jonah's right. That describes Quenty perfectly. I never should have sent Quenty to that damn place. Mm, what place is that? The old cistern. It's where the remains of Manko are kept hidden from the cult. Who is Manko? He was a farmer who led Sairi and Amaru's ancestors out of Cusco to safety centuries ago. He is known as the peasant savior. It's his amulet we need for the coronation. Why was Manko hidden away? Manko's followers were known as the Order of the Peasant Savior. This rebellion was born from it. When the cult of Kukulkan first took power, they tried to wipe out the Order. Manko was hidden away in a secret place and kept safe. But over time, as the Order dwindled, the memory of that place has faded. If you like, I could go look for Quenti. You've done a lot already. Bringing back the King's Horn was a big gesture of friendship. I don't mind, really. Maybe Quenty can show me the best cliffs to jump off. Please don't encourage him. The entrance to the cistern is a cave above the white tree. Follow the trail, it'll lead you to it. They can be saved. If you could help my comrades, I'd be forever grateful.
is the entrance. Something's wrong. <coughs> no one's been through here in centuries. This has to be the right place. Manko's resting place. This looks suspicious. This looks like a procession of the dead. It's the order hiding Manko from the cult of Kukul Khan.
This shows burial dolls, pottery, and textiles being placed in here with the dead. This wasn't just a hiding place. The order turned it into a crypt. This lever should raise the water level. This lever should raise the water level. The order left members behind as sentinels when they sealed the system. All these bones, they sacrificed themselves to protect this place. Manko. Now, where's the amulet? Now, to get this back to Uchu. There's light coming through this wall. Another sealed off passageway, I bet.
can't figure out the dialect. I must be missing something. Laura, I'm glad you're back safely. Quinty returned shortly after you left. In one piece, but empty-handed, I'm afraid. He's safe. That's the important thing. <sighs> I wish we could say the same for Zan. Kukul Khan curses this coronation, I swear it. Zan? Is he the other man you sent out? Yes, he was looking for the champion's bow. A group of hunters just pulled his body from the wilderness. Uchu, I'm sorry about your friend. If there is some good news in all of this, I did find the Savior's amulet. What? You did? Lara, that's incredible. Here. Thank you. Lara, I hate to ask you, but... But, would I go and get the champion's bow? It's a lot to ask. This is the most difficult of the items to retrieve. Zan was one of our best. May I ask what makes this bow so special? Queen Unaratu's ancestors carved it from the first Seba tree to grow in the wilderness outside the city. It has been handed down through generations. She bestowed it upon Sairi, Etsli's father, on their wedding day. It joins the two families together, but it was lost many years ago, taken by the Nahual. The Nahual? That's someone who has the power to transform into an animal, right? Yes. This one stalks the jungle outside the city. Envious, it tricks Sairi into giving it the bow. Etsli is the rightful heir of the champion's bow. Without it, he cannot be king. Okay, point the way. Thank you. You will find the entrance directly across from here, up the shore of the river. Don't worry. I'll do my best to get the bow. <laughs> 